Hello there, John Ruman of the Sales Training Academy, who I work with the real 007, Mr. Roger Moore. So thank you for watching today. Today I'm going to discuss price, which is one of the primary decision makers of a purchase for an individual or company. So if you did not see the previous one, I would encourage you. I actually had two previous videos before this one. Where first one I discussed was service, and then I also discussed uh, the five overall in, in kind of general. So the five reasons people, top five reasons people make a decision, service, price, quality, confidence of a salesperson, and choice. So I'm going to delve into price today because everyone in their mind says price is the primary reason, which is why when I found this study, I thought it was fascinating that price was actually number five. So I'll tell you what number five is. Number five is price. But I'm going to delve into price today, and then in a few videos, I'll actually go over the official list, and then we'll kind of go over there. But today, I'm going to unpack price, and I appreciate you coming on. You're going to love today. So price is a major factor, and if you don't know that, welcome. It is. And one of the primary reasons is because it allows us to be financially prepared for it, but let me discuss price when it comes to buying opportunity and buying decision. So when you come up with a product or service, hopefully you've researched what other people have to offer. So you actually know if you are priced on the lower, high, or medium area of your actual market. And what doing this properly will do is actually give you a an idea of where you fit. So if you're a low value, but low price option, then you may get more potential people. If, if your target market is someone who searches only for the lowest price option, it's usually a failing issue. So what people will commonly do is they will commonly, at this point, um, make their product medium or higher quality when they come to realize this, simply because they realize it's tough to compete purely on price. And even just being aware of these other four options, price, quality, service, etc., when you're aware of these other options, you'll now begin to think of other areas that you can improve what your total package is. So when the price conversation comes up, there's less of an issue. So price is a factor, of course. Payment plans, um, installment plans, loans to cover it, a um, whole bunch of things are, are, are in a factor, but it's important that you understand that it is not the only thing. And that's why one of the reasons I made this class. So, so understanding and researching where your product is compared to your competitors, that's part one. And then giving people options and the opportunity to buy your product. So when people ask you what is the actual price, that actually is a strong buying signal that says to your audience that I want this, let me see where it fits. And when they actually get back to you as opposed to their feedback, and, that, and you'll usually know pretty quickly if they were thinking, cool, I thought you were gonna be more, or wow, I didn't think you were gonna be that much, which is another option in that, you could be more than they had anticipated you being. So that's a possibility. Also, you could be, um, they were kind of subtly asking for a payment plan. It could be totally out of their, their market. There are several reasons why someone may have price objections or price challenges. All good. It's just important to understand that it's usually not, I don't want this, it's just trying to gauge how they can. And your job as the salesperson is to help them find a way that they can do it. It does not mean, so So I live in Trinidad, and in Trinidad, hi Angel, in Trinidad, and hey Jared, people very commonly will like to give people pushback and almost like a bidding war, and I respect that. And... Um, and, and some people will actually price their products so they have a lowest possible 
denominator on it, depending on what they offer. And But it's also just important to understand that the person is simply trying to get a lower uh, potential cost. So there's nothing wrong with giving feedback. So, so, so I, if I'm understanding this, um, you're hoping the price would be less than it is, and I totally understand it. And then you can ask them a question. Is this out of your budget? Is it something you want to make adjustments for? And if you ask questions like that, they'll begin thinking differently as opposed to be purely in, in this. Um, and again, because I'm talking to people all around the world here, so um, if you're in that kind of environment and that's a serious part of your culture, then you may want to consider giving yourself a 5% five or 10% leeway, but I would not lower my price as the first option. I would discuss other options just because price, again, is only a consideration, and as I said, it's number five. So these are the top five, and hopefully I went in enough that you're intrigued. So I, I appreciate you staying on. So let me tell you real quick about the two upcoming classes I'm having in sales training. Um, we're having a cold calling masterclass. So if you're a person who ever makes a phone call for your business, that's where cold calling comes in. And we'll help you create a script which will help it so you have a succinct, quick, impactful call with the person so you can set an appointment. And we'll help you create that. We'll help you create tonality, which is what radio broadcasters use. And then we also have a six-week course called Six Weeks to Sales Mastery. That one will start on the 13th of September. The cold calling starts on the 2nd. The cold calling is 3 hours, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., it's 600 TT. If you take the cold calling class, you will get 400 TT credit towards the six-week class. The six-week starts on the 13th of September and is 3,000 TT. Assuming you take the cold calling, you'd get it at 26 and then from there. Um, and again, that's six modules. First module being on the elevator pitch, mental and physical conditioning so you can feel awesome when you're talking to people. And then it'll be Second one, uh, the elevator pitch will be part of the first one. And the second one is the cold calling. Third class is, sorry, second class is networking, which is actually getting to meet total strangers. Third class is the cold call. Four is the actual meeting. Five is the uh, um, close. And then six is the um, doing it all. And just so you know, we do the entire class as a simulation. So if you ever teach anything, I would strongly encourage you bring in simulations as much, as much as possible. We got introduced the idea from Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, and it really has helped us a great deal. So tune in next time. We're going to discuss quality, and we'll keep on doing the other three remaining, and then I'll do an overall comprehensive. So let me quickly reiterate. Price, you must know how you compare to the market. I would not encourage lowest price. It's a very, very, very competitive world there. Price is a consideration, but make the other areas a strong, important factor. Don't make yourself the cheapest person in the business. Otherwise, it really is a, a tough life to live because someone's going to outdo you and then you're out. So, And you can only bring your margins down so low. So find other things and bring your product up typically to a moderate to higher quality investment and then you'll go from there and then understand when people come to you when they're wanting to buy and they're giving you feedback as to why they are or are not make a decision on price understand that it could be many factors they may want a payment plan you may be too expensive or more than they thought you would be it may be out of the price range there could be a few other factors but your job as the salesperson is to make sure you help them facilitate that purchase that is your job so Thank you again. I appreciate your watching. Take care.